Hi, I'm John Moore from Meadow Engineering. We're here to show you uh, how easy it is to roll a gas pod, a uh, package gas booster system from Meadow Engineering through the door and get it in place to install. So here I am opening a standard man door, 36 inch wide. Our booster skid fits on a pallet jack. So here we are rolling it right through the door. Stuck on the door. Okay. One man job. And of course you would move it into place as you need it uh, in the building. But uh, this was one of the biggest um, inputs that we got from installing contractors was the ease of getting the booster into place. So with our gas pod design, every skid for all the ENT and smaller uh, can be put onto this size skid and rolled into place. So let's take a, a moment to notice that all the components from Etter Engineering are completely mounted and wired, installed, painted, what have you, uh, with our gas pod. This is not the case with some of our competitors. This is the where the gas is going to come in. Your inlet uh, flange that um, the house piping will be connected to. We have a st stainless steel overbraid flex hose. That's going to isolate the skid piping from the piping from a vibration standpoint. We have your low gas pressure switch, manual reset that protects the gas company's header pressure. Notice it's pre-wired to the control panel. Okay, and an inlet pressure gauge to mo monitor what street pressure we're getting from, from the gas utility. Brian Donkin uh, FM approved uh, gas check, uh, check valve to prevent any backflow uh, back into the um, gas company's header. Lubricated plug cock. Etter Engineering believes lubricated plug cock is the best way to go uh, from the standpoint of isolating a gas service. Okay, that lubrication gives you a good tight seal. Should you ever have to service anything or work on the line? Okay, the gas booster itself. We'll walk around here in a, in a few minutes, but. Right here in the back is the outlet of the, uh, the gas booster. We come out of the outlet. This package has um, what we call our Mode R uh, uh, flow controls, which utilize a Siemens SKP25 gas regulator, where we're sensing gas pressure downstream. And we're actually controlling the booster, turning it on and off based on load in the building, okay? Coming out of that, we sweep across. We have another gauge for monitoring the performance of the gas booster and setting the pressure of this regulator. Again, an outlet lubricated plug cock and another stainless steel flex hose for uh, connection to the um, building piping. So as you can see, all the components are within the footprint of the skid that can fit through the man door. That was our whole objective in doing this. And again, not all our competition have done this with their package systems. Um, certainly mounting all these other components, flex hoses, check valves, regulators out in the field costs the mechanical contractor, the installing contractor, uh, time and money and risk. Um, when this unit arrives, your job site, you know it's been tested from the inlet flange to the outlet flange, leak tested and functionally tested. So a lot of the risk is resolved. So why don't we come over here and look at the inlet side of the, uh, the, the gas booster, uh, the control panel and the actual operating booster itself. 
Here we have our, our Edder Engineering booster control panel. It's mounted on a stand. The stand allows complete access to the gas booster should we need to change a motor you know, many years down the road or uh, do an internal inspection. All this booster can be serviced without moving this control panel. Our control panel um, is done in our own UL508A panel shop. It's designed specifically to work with uh, our gas booster and it's listed as such. We have a rotary disconnect here. This is the uh, touchscreen operating interface for the operator. We have an alarm buzzer, which also is a light, and an emergency stop push button in case there's any incident where you want to immediately shut the booster off. Okay, rotary disconnect. As you can see, our control panel shop does an extremely nice job of, of neatness, tidiness. All the wires are clearly marked. Uh, color-coded and uh, follow all UL standards. UL certification is in here along on a, on a uh, uh, label inside the control panel along with all the job documentation, panel wiring, and what have you. Makes it very easy for the installing contractor. Basically all the electrician is going to be doing is bringing in the three-phase service probably through the top of the panel, the side of the panel. They're going to terminate to these three uh, uh, connections on the rotary disconnect and everything else is already done. We've, we're, we're taking in and breaking down the power internally for our own control wiring. Everything is all set. So three wires, two flanges, and you're off ready to go. This unit can literally install within minutes.